Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here, and today I'm going to fly my Arrows P-51 Mustang. I've had quite a few questions about it, but more importantly, I went and picked up a couple batteries uh, that I want to try out in this airplane. It's a 3S 2200 25, uh, 25C rating Turnigy battery, and it's from Hobby King, and this is the kind of air, uh, battery that I started on uh, back when my dad and I just switched over to electricity uh, on these airplanes. We flew nitro forever, and we switched over to battery power, and when we did that, dad picked up a bunch of these Turnigy batteries because of the price point. Uh, I think I looked uh, on the web, and if I'm right, they were right around eight bucks. I I think the in the marketplace for that size battery, you, <laughs> this is like you could have three of these batteries for the price of most other places. So uh, I'm excited to get it up in the air and see how this battery does. Uh, let's do it. All right, guys, we got just a little bit of a breeze coming from the north, which is the ponds. I just bound up. A receiver in this plane because I've had it pulled out for a while but all my settings were still there and uh, people have asked about the settings I've got uh, rates low rates set at 70% high rates at 100% expo at 20% on all uh, settings so I've gone one click on the flaps here and we're gonna take off towards the pond. Just a little bit of up elevatorless. I don't know that I need it, but I'll start in high rates just to see. I don't have safe set up. So here we go. It's turning pretty hard on me. So let's try this again. So it's been a while since I've flown this and I don't think I remember this, but it looks like the rudder wheel gets stuck, maybe. So let me try to straighten that out. I don't know why it gets stuck, like it clicks into a spot. So got her straightened out. If we can get it to hold a straight line here into the wind. This time we'll go full, I'm in high rates and I'll go full up elevator to keep it on that tail wheel uh, so it doesn't want to turn until we get some speed. There we go. Get it rolling let off. All right. All right, I didn't get it stuck turning. So we'll try one more time here. I do have my timer on the battery set to seven minutes today. Uh, so the video might be a little bit longer than normal. Here we go. So I did, I did, it still turned left on me, but I just decided to hit the throttle and let it get into the air. Here we go. Flaps off and gear her up. And looks pretty straight like I said I don't have AS3X or safe turned on so this is gonna be all me today with just a light breeze shouldn't be too bad it's feeling pretty good I'm at about half throttle and so plenty of power coming from this 30 ES 2200 I will have the link shared in the description box and if I remember, I'll put it in the comments. Again, I'm still at half throttle. We get it coming downwind here. No, we'll wait till I get turned the other direction. Let's turn it this way and then we'll crank it up. Here we go. So not too bad. 
we have flown this airplane on 4S and it really gets to be a handful, especially in high rates like this. So I'm gonna go to low rates and see what that's like. And it's feeling pretty good. Much slower on the roll. Again, I set my dual rates at 70% for low and 100% for high with 20% expo and it's given me pretty decent feel. And I got the timer set at seven minutes. So we're gonna try to fly this and then check the battery at the end of that flight. Um, I'm gonna try to record me opening the second battery I, I have. Um, if I can get the camera set up to record me opening it up, I will I'll put it in a, like a little box or something, try to put it over the flight because seven minutes of me doing all the same stuff might get a little bit old, but I'm going to try to make it entertaining. Pick it up. Roll that out. Make sure I was above that lamppost. The inverted looks good. Didn't have to up the throttle any. So, I don't know how many of you got the Aeros P-51 Mustang, but it's a pretty good airplane. As you can see, it's been a little while since I've flown it. I had a little bit of trouble uh, with the plane wanting to turn from the torque on the takeoff, but I'm sure that if you get used to it, it can definitely handle it. Get a little practice in, I'll get nice straight takeoffs, I'm sure. For the longest time, I was flying an old Tower Hobbies P-51 that they quit making and that was a pretty sad day because everybody was enjoying that airplane. It was like a hundred bucks back then and so plug and play for a hundred bucks and just have a blast with it. It was a pretty good deal and the thing about it is it didn't come with retracts so you you did have to buy those separate, but I got one at a swap meet and that was pretty good. I think I actually still have remnants from that airplane because I still have one that kind of works. It probably needs some fixing, but So I've talked about it recently that I got some stuff going on with my eyes and uh, they're going to do some laser stuff. I had cataract surgery about a year and a half ago and one in three people have the need for this operation afterwards and I guess I'm one of those, one of three people. They're going to have to take off a uh, it's like scar tissue or something that builds up around the lens they installed. And it makes my sight just a little bit cloudy. So some of the times when we got the airplane in a special situation, it's 
gets a little blurry and hard for me to see, but I'm doing okay, as you can tell. It does feel like it's starting to slow down a little bit. So what I'm going to do on this next pass is look at the gear down. There they are. Came down nicely. Oh, there's the timer. So we'll definitely make it to the seven minutes. And we'll bring it down here, throw on the flaps here. Just one click on the flaps. And off the throttle. I'm going hard right and it turned at the end but it was definitely leaning oh and now I got the wheel stuck again so I'm gonna have to walk down there and get it all right guys I went nine seconds over seven minute timer and we'll take the battery out now can do this with one hand there we go there's the battery and uh, it's a little warm not hot just warm let's hook it up to the battery tester We took her pretty low, got her to about 3.57 or 8. So we definitely took it all the way at 7 minutes, but I wasn't easy on it. I was flying it and uh, pretty happy with that. $8 battery gets you a 7 minute flight on the Mustang from Arrows. Really nice. Boy, what a beautiful night. Big thanks to the Lord. Uh, just glad I was able to share with you guys this new Turnigy battery. What a great price. Like eight bucks on Hobby King. And it powered up this Arrows P51 with no problem. Did great for about seven minutes. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, you can't ask for too much more than that out of one of these uh, little Warbirds. And... Uh, yeah, big thanks to you guys for supporting the channel. If you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here.